Hello guys, it's done. That's the Lego I bought from Joom, which is actually not Lego, but it looks like Lego. And that's the original Chevrolet Corvette ZR1 with build number 42093. Let's see. So, when we look at the front, we can see that Lego doesn't have this little bit here. And this one is quite cool, however, Lego have these little LED lights here, which are like aftermarket ones. You can check this video there and you'll find out what I'm talking about. And that will also explain all these wires across the car. Apart from that, apart from this aftermarket, um, you can see we have some little blue pieces here and Lego one has the white ones. I personally think this one looks cooler. Makes it like undercover police car, if you like. It's good. It's good. Lights, everything else in the front is identical. Pistons, engine base, everything's the same. They are moving up and down when these wheels here are spinning. Same is happening with the Rio Lego. Uh, both cars have this little knob here which allows you to steer the car. It works a bit harder on the Joom Lego. Probably I just tied up the connections a bit too much. I don't know. It works, which is the important bit. Now, this is the fake Lego. And as you can see, the rear wing is actually adjustable. On the Lego, it's static. I prefer this one. Back of the car. I cannot spot any differences there. They look absolutely the same. Underneath, again, the differential is there for both cars. It works for both cars. Mm, it looks like it works a little bit better on the Lego. And there is some sort of tension here on the fake one. Again, this could be... Oh yeah. So that's me. No. Not only me. I put the pieces too tight together, which sometimes may result in friction, which may result in cog wheels not spinning as they're supposed to. Sometimes it's just the build quality. In this case, oh no, there you go. So in this in this case, it was me. As you can see, this piece, the tire was touching this piece here, and now it's okay. So differential works. Uh, for both cars, tires look the same, everything is the same. Everything is absolutely the same. The only difference is the price. Well, of course, Lego is branded and has a uh, Lego stamp on all the pieces, or almost all the pieces. And this one here does not, which is normal. Otherwise, <laughs> there will be some legal actions, I guess. But Considering the price, I'm not sure I would buy the original one because this one is almost twice cheaper. I'm not sure what's the current price and that's why I'm going to add links respectively from, for Amazon for this one and for Joom for this one. Probably you can get it from Wish but you have to pay for delivery which makes the price so a little bit. So yeah, what do you think guys? What's your experience with fake Legos and are they good? In this case, considering the price, I might just go with the fake one. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you want more of these videos, just hit that subscribe button over there. And before I forget, I'm going to disassemble this one and I'm going to construct, not construct, I'm going to build the alternative build for it. For it. You know the dragster. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.